What's up, guys? Welcome to Better Lives! Chill, chill, chill. Today we're talking about ex-boyfriends, ex-girlfriends, exes in general. I actually get along with all my ex-boyfriends. We're still friends. Minus one, who minus two. Who, maybe my three? Brother, maybe three? Maybe three? <laughs> what do you guys think? Like, do you guys get along with your ex-boyfriends, exes? Nope. No. Said, that was a fast <laughs> nope. Really? My ex-ex, like my ex, like the last serious yeah. one, I had to block from all social media. Wow. wow. Why? Because she would, she would message me. What would she say? She yeah, what would she, she say? She's just like, I, I miss you. Oh no. Uh, Why is that bad though? Because I know the way she maneuvers. Yeah. And just, she just, she knows how to, she's sneaky. Did it end amicably or did it end like kind of in a really bad way? It kind of ended in a really bad way. We tried the long distance thing for a little bit. It did not work. And then out of the blue, she ended up pregnant. With somebody else. With somebody else. Oh, okay. But she always tried to stay in my life. Uh, See, that's she a, always, I was just like, what are you though? doing? Like, leave me alone. And she's trying to have her cake then and eat it too. What? In that case, because it, when it ends amicably, I think that when you reach out to an ex-boyfriend or an ex, I think it's okay. Like, yeah. that is not okay. Because then when you hurt somebody that deeply, she like you should understand that the person needs time to heal. And so I feel like she should have been backed off. Right. And then you have every right and every reason to block somebody. For sure. And I had to, because like you said, she wanted her cake and her platano too. Yeah. <laughs> I, the way that I see it is that like you kind of go and get into a relationship and you teach each other a little something. It's almost like a business transaction. Like if it doesn't work out, it just doesn't work out. It doesn't make you a shitty person. It doesn't make me a shitty person. I know that you kind of have a history with your ex because he was kind of just a shitty person, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I was with this person for five years. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, he, he ruined my self-esteem, my wow. self-worth. I was miserable, I lost half my friends in high school. Yeah. I started forming like phobias and anxieties. I just did it, I just wasn't well. Big oh my God, you. Big Am I grabbing a boob? <laughs> your shoulder? There's no room for that toxic behavior. Exactly. Anything toxic around you, that toxic energy, you have to just get rid of that. No yeah. matter how much you love the person, yeah. oh, they were your first love, you gotta get rid of those people, yeah, man. Being in a relationship is two equal people yeah, absolutely. making a team. We are a team and sometimes absolutely. teams break up and, yeah. that's okay. and that's okay. Yeah. And you make another team, yeah. but it's always a team dynamic. Yeah. And if that is the relationship you're in, Awesome. So yeah guys, what do you guys think? Let us know, do you still get along with your ex-boyfriends or your ex-girlfriends? Do you want to talk to them? Were you hurt? All I gotta say though, share this. If it's toxic, <laughs> cut it out. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but, a joke. But, yeah, but if the sex was good, keep them around. But if the get the fuck yeah, away. It, it doesn't matter how good that dick is. <laughs> it I know, don't matter how good. Is so good. No. <laughs>